Direction determines our destination. And this is true not just geographically, this is true in all the Ali's. This is true financially and professionally and relationally and morally and spiritually, and I made this one up, marriagely. And I was gonna add in parenting, parenting Ali. That in all the Ali's, that there this principle holds true. That the direction you're moving in in your relationship, the direction you're moving in financially, the direction you're moving in as a parent, the direction that you're moving your marriage in academically, whatever it might be, in every area of life, the direction you're moving in deter ultimately determines your destination. Now. To take this a little bit further, if I were to sit down and ask you, hey, what, and I'll just pick one of these, what, what do you hope your financial world looks like in say two years or five years from now? You probably have an answer. You know, I intend to make this much money. I intend to save this much money. I tend to get out of debt. If I were to say relationally, I mean, you know, you've been dating this girl, you've been dating this guy for a long time, you know, two years from now, I mean, what, what do you see? You say, well, I, I, I see marriage in the mix or I'm, I'm not so sure. So if I were to ask you about any of these things, you have some idea of where you intend to go in every important arena of life. We're just wired that way. But the challenge is, often Oftentimes there is a disconnect. There is a disconnect between what we intend and the direction we choose. There's often a disconnect between our intention. Yeah, we're gonna be out of debt. Yeah, by this time next year, by the five years from now, I hope, you know, by the time kids roll around, there's oftentimes a disconnect between our intention and our direction. And here's the thing. I don't want, and I know you don't want, and maybe most importantly, or most importantly, your heavenly father does not want you to be a victim of this disconnect. Because at the end of the day, and we all know this, we just need somebody to remind us every once in a while. At the end of the day, direction trumps intention every single time. That direction always wins. So a young lady says, yeah, well, my hope is that one day I'm gonna meet a great guy, you know, got a you know, mature guy, Hi, but in the meantime, I'll just go out with basically whoever asks me if, you know, as long as he's cute, right? Or a dad says, you know what, I, I want our family to be a unit. I mean, I want us to be family-centric. I want the kids to want to be together even when they don't have to be. I want us to all want to be together even when we don't have to be, even when they're older. I mean, I want us to be a family unit. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna work all the time and I'm gonna say yes to extra trips. One day, we're gonna be debt-free. But in the meantime, you know, debt is just a, it's just a, a way of life. Now, when I'm married, <laughs> Andy, of course, when I'm married, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna honor my wife, right? I mean, but these other girls that I'm dating, I mean, they're not my wife. So it's different, right? Once I meet the right person, I'll change. Once I make more money, I'll become generous. Now, we'll come back to this in just a second. Do you know why counselors are so smart? Oh, they're educated and they're, they're good at their craft, but do you know why they, they just appear so smart? It's because we are so predictable because your direction has a destination tied to it. And you get in to see a counselor or a pastor or somebody or even just a trusted friend and you're telling your problem and this happened, this happened, this, she said this and now we're in a mess and I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a solution. I'm looking for a fix. And a good counselor knows there's no solution, there's no fix. There's just direction. And the solution isn't here, you know, just do these two things. The solution ultimately is a change of direction and you can't instantly do that. That's not an overnight thing, it's a process. Just like the process got you where you don't wanna be, there's a process that gets you to where you do wanna be. And when you change direction, things change. So would you begin making that hard you turn. People won't understand. Your family won't understand. People at work may not understand. Your broken up boyfriend or your broken up girlfriend, they're really not going to understand. Your, what becomes your ex-fiance, he's not going to understand. She's not going to necessarily understand. But if you know, you got to go. And if you know what your heavenly father is nudging you and urging you to do, don't say no to your father in heaven. Because at the end of the day, whether you believe this or not, whether you leverage it or not, remember it's a principle. You don't apply a principle, principles apply themselves to you. And regardless of whether you believe it or not, your direction, not your intention, is determining at this very moment your ultimate 
destination. So, would you begin this week living in a different direction? Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you check out the links on your screen for what to watch next and check out the description below where we are gonna provide you with free resources designed to help you make better decisions and live with fewer regrets. And again, thanks for watching.